Welcome back to Operation Pixel. I'm a kangaroo. I, I don't think... I don't think there were any kangaroos in feudal Japan. Aw, oh, lame. <laughs> Gotta I... go back. <laughs> I thought that's where I was going, but then I see the flag. Yep. Apparently, you went the wrong way. Nope. Aw, oh, crap. The sword is so slow. <laughs> Oh wow, that like broke their swords real good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Eat it. Quick win! Level up! I win! Better than you. Fine, jeez. <laughs> Rub it in. Because I didn't know how to play the game, and I immediately said to hard mode, which was much harder than expected. <laughs> I'm gonna run for, through more beautiful scenery. Oh, great. Um, another thing I found out when I was looking this up the other day uh -huh. uh, was that apparently, if you beat the game, you unlock a third difficulty. And unfortunately, it's not normal, it's more like absurdly hard. Huh, so it's really focused on the fact, like, with arcade games. Sort of. Which are made to be in nearly impossibly hard. Could be. The quarters. thing is that what I read about the, uh, the final difficulty is that it's set up in a way that you, can, you can't take one hit. Like, if you get hit once, you die. Oh my god. Right? Like, does that not sound, like, <laughs> impossible? Yeah, I've already... Look at this. I'm already... I gotta drink some booze. I see how it is. Any excuse to drink booze, a arc? Yeah, let's drink some booze. Let's get this chick drunk. Except you're a demon. True. In a girl's body. Possession. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw something. I got a yam! Yay. Well, I'm Wait, sure now that's... where I'm going. Uh... I gotta go back. Hold on. Like, there was a way to expand the map. Once you get Pleasant. out of here. Go. 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 Get back here. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, it hit me. <laughs> get back here, stupid. <laughs> oh, this is great. There you go. Hit it. Lame! <laughs> That's probably like the boars I was fighting then. Yeah, but that one attacked me and flew. Well, the, the boar attacked me too. Hold but on. It didn't fly. Try to open up the map. It's gotta be a way. Oh, there you can see where you're trying to get to. Oh, it's way down there. Oh, jeez. In the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Interesting. This is a big area. Yep. But at least now you know where to go. Just gotta go all the way back and then take the other road. Eh. <laughs> See, this would be good for the smoke bombs we were. Yeah. We were contemplating about earlier. Yep. I mean, you know, a little bit. It doesn't hurt oh, there we go. to get a little bit of extra. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. Finals. Double tap. I'm gonna watch that movie again. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, that was Zombie Land. Land. Yeah, wasn't too bad. It's kind of an amusing zombie film. As Twinkies. Opposed to, as opposed to at least a generic zombie film. Woody Harrelson always wanting Twinkies. That's not the name of the actor. Yeah. Let's see. His theme in the film was Tallahassee, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. Because they would always do where they're from. Either that or it was where they were going. Yeah. I think it was where they were from. I thought it was where they were going. Well, they were all traveling together, though. Well, after a bit, yeah. But, like, I don't know. Maybe it was where they were from. It has been a while. I heard they were supposed to be doing, like, a TV series about it, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Like a sequel kind of thing. Oh, what's this? Uh, you seem to have a barrier. 
Oh, see, it's like spewing out little lightning attacks. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Aww. Well, that was funny for a little bit. Is that final thrust victory? Is that beating him while they're down? I'm not sure. I should probably save, huh? Uh, you can. You did get a fair amount of EXP. Or I want to at least catch up to your boss area. Say what now? You did like two or three bosses, right? I think I did two, and I think you've also done two now. Like, we're both at like essentially the same percentage through the games, I think. Since I said we were both at like Act 3. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure we've done the same amount of stuff. I think I'm Overall. So smaller than you then, in level wise. I don't know. Maybe I'm just better leveling up. It's just a sexist game. Yeah, man, you get all your levels from cooking and <laughs> shopping. It is pretty, uh. Come on. Ah! Oh. It's pretty ridiculous, though. But, <laughs> like. For some. Well, actually, it's also weird because you're not a girl, you're a demon. But I'm gonna die. It's still unusual. Like, we'll have to check for that when I get back on the guy. Maybe eventually there's, like, a shop, or maybe he still does get, like, a cooking tap in the inventory. But if it is just the girl, then that's, uh... <laughs> makes me wonder why why nobody called them out on it. Maybe it was just too pretty. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Everyone's like, who cares if this game is misogynistic? Look at that art! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. Because, I mean, even PETA attacked Pokemon. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it is about capturing animals and making them fight each other. They're not animals, right? They're real animals. Yeah. And the game really tries very heavily, like the entire Pokemon lore tries very heavily to make you imagine them as, like, friends in a way. It's almost more like, um, being a boxing trainer, right? Sure. You're just going around and recruiting people for your gym, and then training them up so they can be the world champion. I remember... And so, you know, they're not really so much pets as they are, like, you know. I remember reading a while back, uh... Just doing a little bit of research into like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, there was a big controversy in the uh, the Christian community about it, Pokemon and stuff. Oh yeah. And um, but the Pope actually came out a, <laughs> a couple of years, no, maybe not, uh, some time ago. Yeah. Came out and blessed the series. Oh yeah. Saying it promotes healthy ties of friendship. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, it was blessed by the Catholic Church. I see. That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. I gotta... Where am I? I mean, yeah, it is... Oh, here's the part where you turn around. Um... I mean, yeah, like I was saying, though, it, it is sort of like... that. That's how they try to market it. And they want you to think of them as not, like, you know, tools or weapons or... And, I mean, you're obviously not doing it for, like... Well, that's how Team Rocket thinks. Yeah, well, that's why they're the villains. <laughs> And I don't even know if they think that way particularly. I mean, yeah, I guess to some Maybe degree. Maybe not they Jesse often... and James, because every once in a while they have their episode of. Yeah. Friendship. Emotional. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Giovanni, yeah, he's a dick. Yeah, I guess most of Team Rocket guys, when you get into a fight, they're like, give us your Pokemon. They're only tools. I think they did that with some of the. They mainly said that in some of the other ones. The other enemies, groups that they had. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've had a lot of groups that are all a bunch of, like, weird costume freaks with strange ideals. Yeah. But, uh... Like, Pokemon has never been known to have, like, these, um... Villains that have, like, you know, reasonable perspectives. Like, the only time they did was they, um... Shit, was it X and Y? They essentially had, like, Pokemon PETA. Yeah. Except it turned out that, uh... Like, they weren't actually... Wait, I thought that was black and white. I don't know, it was black and white or X and Y. Yeah, I guess it was probably black and white. But, um, the point is that, like, I think the actual story behind it was that, uh, whoever was in charge was like, WE'RE THE ONLY ONES THAT CAN USE POKEMON! And so everybody else but us has to let go of their Pokemon. And it's like, well, that's... that's... Because they use them for battle! Hey, let's fight! <laughs> Something like that. So they ended up being kind of hypocritical. Um... Oh, I mean, like, again. I feel like I can understand where Pete is coming from, right? Like, I mean, we all like animals. You like dogs, I like dogs. Yeah. Cats are okay, you know. Uh, yeah, but, 
the thing about Pete is that, like, they go to, like, kind of extremes. Way extremes. And to the point where it's, like, kind of a nuisance. And almost hurting their own cause kind of yeah. thing, the way like, they're portraying themselves. Yeah, it's a little true. If you, like, push too hard, people tend to reject you. And I think that's, that's kind of the thing, is, like, since they've kind of made an enemy out of themselves, they're, like, almost like a joke now to anyone who should be taking them seriously. Yeah. So... Kind of too bad. I might want to change the difficulty. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one getting creamed by a couple samurais. Yeah, but I made it past a few. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, that's the other reason I changed the difficulty back down, right? Is for the sake of a uh, video game playthrough. Like, while it would be fun to show off and play on hard mode. Yeah. Like, if we have to keep reloading and trying the same fight over and over, it's like, oh, well, look at that, we made... No progress today. Wait a minute. Uh, obtain the blade, transfer the soul again? Uh... I don't know, I missed the message. Oh, I, I do have it. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> so how about we continue exploring this rainy forest next time? Well, I think I'm pretty close to some area. Well, we'll do it next time. We'll be there next time. Leave some suspense, man. I don't want to wait a whole day. Uh, well, you won't have to. But the people at home will. Yeah, I guess. Alright. So we'll see everybody next time. On Operation Pixel.